filled with the Spirit of God. Isn't that right? Is anyone here today that doesn't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Now maybe some of the children might be, you know, uh, too young right now to have received it. But we find that there, most of us that are here are filled with the Spirit of God. And we need to take and realize that, you know, maybe it took a long time for us to receive the Holy Ghost because of that unbelief. It took me over six months. And I was coming in during the time that we was praying up to midnight. <laughs> and uh, I remember Donnie Rambo coming over. Praise God. And their, their group, the Rambos. And I remember them having revival with us. And I remember during their revival, I had been seeking for God for six months. My brother was a newspaper reporter with the Pensacola News Journal at the time. And he was going to travel up to Montgomery. And I always loved traveling with my brother. And he took and asked me that Sunday. <coughs> he said, you want to go to Montgomery, man? And I looked and I said, no. I said, I'm going to get the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. That's what I did. <laughs> Why in the world did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? Hallelujah. But you know what happened that night? God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I had been praying. Some nights I would pray for two or three hours seeking God. I remember a, a brother in Galveston, Texas. That's one of the first churches I established. And I remember he was with the, I think he was in management with the Coca-Cola company. His name was Richard Harrison. And I remember Richard seeking for the Spirit of God. And we would pray up time. About 11 o'clock back in those days. And uh, I remember after the service when we'd stop praying, Richard come up to me and told me, he said, Brother Duke, I really want the Holy Ghost. And I said, uh, well, Brother Richard, we're closing out right now. But I said, uh, you know, you can go home and keep praying. And I believe this is true. You can go home and keep seeking for God. And I said, uh, I said you can take and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost there. And I said, all you got to do is just keep seeking him. I said, even if you go to the toilet, <laughs> I said, you can keep praying while you're in the toilet and God could even give it to you in there. Well, guess what? The next morning I was waking with a call, telephone ringing, and it was Richard Harrison. He said, Brother Duke, he said, I got the Holy Ghost. He said, guess where I got it? I didn't want to ask him, <laughs> but it was. It was in the toilet. He just kept on praying, seeking God. I had another brother when I took the church in uh, Fort Walton Beach. And his name was Brother Marty. I can't remember what his last name was. But Brother Marty, he came up to me the first night that we had, you know, service. And he told me, he said, Brother Duke, he said, I want to get the Holy Ghost. But he said, I'm scared to seek for it. I said, why are you scared to seek for it? He said, I don't want to roll on the floor. <laughs> and uh, I looked at him and I said, well, Brother Marty, you don't have to roll on the floor. <laughs> Praise God. I said, all you got to do is just turn your heart over to God. Hallelujah. Well, guess what? Brother Marty got the Holy Ghost. But guess what he did? He rolled on the floor. I couldn't believe it when I saw him down there rolling across the floor. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues as a spirit of God 